we're back for another tutorial so this is gonna be like a back to school tutorial I actually just started school yesterday so this is gonna be a back to school hairstyle tutorial I teamed up with Wow African oh my god y'all I just gotta say give y'all a little background on me and Wild African um I started ordering Wild African a little over a year back and I loved it I had did a girl's hair and she had this hair and I'm like oh my god it's so beautiful I end up actually last year for my birthday sending my birthday hair back to order Wild African hair because I loved it so much after doing um, my clients hair and I actually got all my friends ordering it and everything like that so I really love this hair. I really recommend this hair but I was buying bundles at the time but today we came up in the world we're going to be doing a wig and this is the unit right here and the other thing that I love about Wild African is they send you coupon code but they also send you everything that you need to make your wig look as natural as possible so they also sent an elastic band they sent this headband that goes around your edges to tie up your hair to tie up your edges to make it flesh to your skin and then they also sent this brown stocking cap now this stocking cap is a little brown for me but i'm gonna see if i can work with it or not um yes yeah, a little more chocolate than i am so i don't know we're gonna see about that but i definitely love their effort in trying to make you make the process for your wig as easy as possible and then it's a little pamphlet on how to maintain your hair and hair care tips and a lot of people you know don't know how to take care of their hair so i'm just gonna jump right into it this is the unit it is a 360 unit so i can pull it up in a ponytail if i want to but this is the front and then this is the back it comes with adjustable straps in the back y'all can see that adjustable adjustable straps then it comes with one comb in the back between the adjustable straps and it comes with two three combs at the top one in the middle and two on the side now they actually pre-plucked this um frontal hopefully i wasn't saying closure but i meant to say frontal hope um they pre-plucked this closure and they also bleached the knot previous to sending it to me so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on my wig head so you guys can see what it looks like okay so this is how the hairline looks it has been pre-plucked i'm actually gonna pluck it a little bit more and i'm gonna show y'all that part that show y'all how natural is looking now um before I it looked okay but it wasn't as natural as I wanted it to look so let me pull my cap down okay so this is what it looks like now that I've bleached the knot again and it's looking much much more natural so i mean it comes pre-bleached but it's just not as natural as it could be okay y'all so i'm back and i got my wig right here off camera i went ahead and sewed my elastic band um on the bottom 
If y'all want to see a detailed tutorial on how I sew my elastic band in a proper position to make it lay flat, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely get that to y'all. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go ahead and put the wig on and then I'm going to cut the lace off. so I put the wig on I'm going to adjust it move it back a tad bit just trying to see where my hair lies and this is perfect so what I'm going to be doing is clipping the hair back on both sides so that I can begin to cut the lace off and I'm going to make sure, so I see my ear and I'm going to take the comb and part around my ear so that I can cut that lace off. So what I'm going to be doing is taking my X-Acto knife and that's what I'm going to be cutting this off with. It's really sharp and precise. So I'm just going to go ahead and just cut that off. Okay, so this is what I ended up cutting off. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the, the back part after I'm done doing the front. I'm, if I complete this part, I'm going to go ahead and cut my lace. So I'm going to start at the middle of my head and I'm going to cut down. Then I'm going to be moving this hair back a little bit. But I'm going to be kind of leaving a little lace on just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And the reason I'm cutting it with an X-Acto knife is because it's precise, but it's also, um, it's just not gonna give like blunt lines like, uh, um, like scissors would. What I'm going to be doing is pulling my wig back, cleaning off my edges with 70% alcohol, and instead of using whatever. So basically, I put the glue on my edges. I mean, not the glue, the gel on my edges as such. And I'm just going to be putting it on right on my hairline. Right. And then I'm going to pull my cap down a tad bit. And while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to actually put a little foundation on this part of my cap.
spray some spritz on it. And now I'm going to blow dry that. So I'm going to be pulling it on this side over my ear. I'm going to be taking this piece of hair right here and pulling it down. I'm going to be taking the comb on the my, my the comb and the blow dryer, blow dryer on the low. I'm going to be taking the end of the comb and the blow dryer on the low heat, the lowest the lowest thing, and then I'm going to dry it. I just want to show y'all what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and part it. Well, this is the section that they had messed up on when they bleached it. So I probably won't be parting it on that side, but. So, I haven't really decided what I'm going to exactly do yet. I don't know. I might part it down the middle. Nah, I think I'm going to go ahead and part it on the side. That's, that's kind of feeling like a side part today. So... Now, what I'm going to be doing is parting my hair in the side part, putting a little lot of body right here on my part to flatten it. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my edges. So what I'm going to be doing is taking this clip to tie my hair back. I'm going to be taking a little bit of the Gorilla Snot on the back of my hand. And I'm going to be taking my small tube comb. And I'm going to be parting it out and swooping it into my hair.
sure what I'm about to do to it, but I'll definitely come back to y'all and show y'all what it looks like after I'm done. Yeah, but this is what I have so far. Make sure y'all thumbs up this video and I'm going to come back to y'all after I style this hair. Okay y'all, so this is how I ended up deciding to style my hair. I have a um, Dutch braid on this side and then I have like the bobby pins on this side. And then if y'all want to see my hairline, this is how it looks up under here. I have the same sideburns on this side. I just don't want to mess up my braids. I have the same sideburns on both sides. But, yeah. So, this is what it looks like. And this is how you slay your frontal make it look like it's your real hair.